so excited to share with you a new feature that Canva has to make your life so much easier as a coach, as a creator who's looking to create reels, stories, create YouTube shorts, TikTok videos, and all of that great stuff, any short type of video, this is going to make your process so much easier. So let's go ahead and dive in to how you can use Canva to create your reels, your YouTube shorts, and so much more. Hey there, coaches and creators, Brittany here, and welcome to the Template Society channel where we help you to create your content strategy and skip the overwhelm when it comes to content creation. So today we're talking all about how you can use Canva to create reels and videos. But before we dive into that, I want you to check out a special content calendar I have for you. This will help to make your social media planning so much easier. I use it every single week to create a game plan on what I'm going to share with my audience, how I'm going to share it, and ultimately make sure that I'm actually executing it and doing it. So check it out. You can find it in the link below. Okay, so let's talk about this new feature that Canva has. Now, if you aren't currently on Canva, I highly recommend that you check out Canva Pro. This is going to be really helpful in your content creation journey to make sure that you are able to use all of the amazing features that they have that can help you to be able to execute your content creation. So I'm going to break this into two parts. This first part, I'm going to focus on how you can make reels that include text and not necessarily audio other than music. So this is more text form. And then the second part is going to hone in on adding in your actual words and using B-roll and your actual actual filmed videos. So we're going to make this into two parts. So let's go ahead and dive into part one. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our way to where it says Magic Studio. When we click on Magic Studio, we are then going to go to where it says Magic Design for Video. We're going to hit Try Now, and I'm going to hit Try Magic, Magic Design. Now that I'm in Magic Design, it's going to ask me to upload at least three videos. I've already uploaded a few videos, so I'm going to utilize the videos that I have already created, or you can use b-roll or faceless videos where you don't have to necessarily use your face. You can just use stock photos or videos that you find. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Let's go ahead and click, click, click. Now here's the really cool part. Um, now Canva's asking to describe the kind of content you want to share. So this will help you to be able to quickly create the text that you're going to be sharing on your actual videos. So what I'm going to tell Canva is um, more about my ideal customer. Okay, so what I just plugged in was how coaches and creators to, can use Canva to quickly create reels, YouTube shorts, and TikTok videos. So basically what this video is all about. So now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. Once I hit generate, what Canva is going to do is it's going to start gathering music, putting some text around my actual video and so much more. Okay, so here is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and play this. Let's see what it sounds like and see if it's on point with what we are ultimately uh, wanting to do in our business. So let me just go ahead and play this. <laughs> Okay, so that's not too bad, but what we wanna do is make this more on brand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab, I'm gonna to go to one of the, the actual um, shorts that it created. I'm gonna click on the text. I'm gonna make this more my brand. So currently right now, um, let's go to effects. Let's go ahead and change the background. Let's make this instead of outline, let's just go ahead and make this more of a background. And then let's pick a color that's on brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this right here here and I am going to let's just change a few things so currently right now with this background let's go ahead and make it the pink um, currently let's go ahead and play around with the roundness if I want it to be not as round I can do that and if I want the spread to be a little bit tighter I can bring that in and if I want to create a little bit of transparency now I'm going to change the actual text to be one of my brand fonts so I'm going to just type it in I'm going to go ahead and just grab the text that I want. So I'm going to just go ahead and make this medium and we're going to make this a little bit shorter. So I'm going to just grab this and make the text a little tighter. And I can also play around with the spacing. So if I need a little bit more spacing because it's too tight, I can do that. We'll make that one. And then right now in the background, I can just get rid of that if it's not on brand. And here we go. 
Now, there is currently a um, merge animation that's taking place. I might not want this animation. I might want to do something completely different. So if that is the case, what we're going to do is change it to our preferred. So here's something I can do. I can drift it in. I can breathe it in. I think I'm going to do a breathe in or rise in. So let's do breathe in. Okay, so now that I have that, um, we can go and do that for all of the different videos, but ultimately um, that's how you're gonna go about changing this to really be more on brand and really connect more with your audience. Okay, so now that we have this, let's think about the music, because this music was not it for me, right? So it was a little bit more not my style. So what I can do is go to elements. When I click on elements, I can go to music and let's look for some fun music that's fun and upbeat. So I'm gonna type in fun, upbeat music. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab this music and I'm going to delete this and I am going to grab the new music that I wanna bring in. So let's go ahead and just drag this down. We'll grab that this, since it's a little bit longer. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Beat Sync. This is going to help to make sure that it connects with our video and ultimately kind of just comes on at the right time. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on and I am going to make this a little bit shorter, which is just my logo at the end. And now I'm going to also turn down the sound. I just wanna make sure that it's not too loud. So I'm gonna turn it down a little. It's at 100 and we're gonna make it let's say 60. Okay, let's go ahead and start from the beginning and see what it's looking like. Here we go. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Again, I would go and change these different uh, backgrounds to be more on brand with my business, but at least I was able to quickly create my videos and I can now download these by going to share and then going to where it says download and downloading it as a MP4 video and then uploading it to my preferred platform, whether it's TikTok or you're using it for YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, you now have your videos and you can quickly share this. So this is a really great way for you to quickly create your reels. I am just so excited that you can now quickly create this content without having to spend hours trying to figure out how to create it, sync it all up, and share it with your audience. So Canva is making it so much easier. Okay, let me know in the comments if you're using this to create your shorts, to create your reels, and so much more. And also, don't forget to check out that special content calendar I have for you where you can learn how to plan out your content in advance for your social media so you're not overwhelmed trying to start from scratch. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you're hungry for more and want to learn more insights to help you with your content creation process, definitely check out this video right here so that you can be able to execute a content strategy that works effectively, allows you to engage, and generate more sales.